Equipment Assembly and Installation First, connect the power cord to the generator. Switch on the generator. The generator begins to self-test. The screen displays the results of the self-test. Then, the generator enters into standby mode. The equipment assembly process is finished and the generator is in standby mode. Next, connect the foot switch to the generator. Make sure the red dots are aligned. Insert the plug to the end. Then, please connect the transducer to the generator. Connect the black plug of the cable line to the connector socket. Make sure the white indicators are aligned. Connect the metal plug of cable line to the transducer. Make sure the red dot on the transducer body aligns with the red dot on the plug. Take off the protective cover and store it in a safe place before connecting the scalpel. Hold the scalpel and transducer vertically. Align the screw end of the scalpel with a threaded hole on the transducer head and then plug in. Hold the transducer with one hand and turn the rod clockwise until it cannot turn anymore. Turn wrench knob clockwise until hearing the sound of two clicks to ensure the scalpel correctly screwed in place. After assembly is finished, press the standby button. The generator will enter into work mode. Make a test fire in the air to check the installation. Keep the scalpel jaw opened when testing. Trigger the MIN and a MAX buttons respectively. When you hear the notification sound and see corresponding level lights blink on screen, it means the assembly and installation is done properly. Equipment Disassembly Before proceeding to disassemble, please put the equipment under standby mode. First, please disassemble the scalpel. Hold the transducer vertically, making sure the scalpel is on top. Turn wrench knob counterclockwise and then turn the rod in the same direction until the scalpel comes off. Before disassembling the transducer, please place the protective top back on to protect the transducer. The correct way to disassemble the transducer is to hold on to the snap ring and pull the cable out. Please do not pull on the cable line or the foot switch cable directly. Precautions during surgery 1. During surgery, please use a wet gaze every 10 to 15 minutes to gently wipe off any residual tissue that is attached to the blade, starting from the back to the front of the tip of the blade, or put the tip of the blade into a liquid and fire for 10 seconds. 2. During surgery, prevent the blade from coming into contact with any metal surface. 3. During, do not fire over 6 seconds on the same spot. Try to adjust the side of the cut and avoid thick tissue. Frequently ask questions. 1. Please assemble and disassemble the system under standby mode. 2. During surgery, use only the front two-third of the scalpel tip to grasp the tissue. Try to avoid cutting with overload tissue or not or to fire without tissue in the jaws. 3. If the generator alarm goes off continuously during surgery, please give priority to replacing the scalpel with a new one.